Welcome back to the How to Build a Website series. As I mentioned before, I'm going to review the new Theme Forest templates and themes so that you can pick the one that's right for you. You can start to get a sense of what's good design, what works, and what doesn't work. So as we go through, you're going to learn some tips and tricks. And let's start with our first one. I'm intentionally using a theme that I really like. This came out just two or three days ago. It's called the Pro Start Startup Template by ThemeRex. And I like the colors. I like the simplicity. One thing you should note when you're talking about a website, you don't want to buy a theme that does everything. You want to buy a theme that does something or what you need it to do correctly. So Pro Start, here we go. We have a big slider here. I'm not a huge fan of sliders. I think they're phasing out and they take quite a bit of time to load, but any website that has a slider can easily be removed. So here you can see the About Us. It's really nice, big text and nice, you know, straightforward, more about us, call to action. I like this little animation. Subtlety is always a winner when it comes to websites. These call-out boxes are really cool. Again, the little subtle animation, the links to learn more, the icons, looking very good. We have here these screenshots. Now note, it's going to be some work to recreate things like this. It's going to take some good sketch PSD skills or a designer, and we can talk more about how to get a designer who can do stuff like this for you. Here we have on the theme a design showcase. It's another slider, but for a good purpose if you're talking about, you know, a company that does app design. Uh, clients, I like this slider. I think it's nice. It doesn't take up a lot of room and it says why this exists. And then they have a nice little pricing call out here. A video, eh, I'm not a huge fan because you can't tell why this video is here. But then testimonials, this is really nice. You can see a lot of testimonials happening at once. And then featured news, again, such good little, you know, hover, link hovers is what that's called. Really nice, really concise. I would hope maybe that uh, because a lot of websites don't get a lot of comments or love or um, they maybe don't update that often. I would maybe remove this information because it might not help you, but it looks beautiful. And then here, uh, call to action to end the website, this little call, sign up, call out. You would uh, sync this to your MailChimp or email list. And then here we are, the footer, nice, straightforward. So let's go into some of the theme pages. I love the way that that little hover happens when you click on the links and when you are on that specific page. This takes up quite a bit of room. Google talks a lot about how they're going to start punishing people for not having a lot of content above the fold. Uh, this is something that will hurt your SEO. They've been talking about it a lot, but it is maybe it doesn't have a huge effect. It's debatable. Uh, but for me, I like to give my users exactly what they want as quickly as they want, unless there's some sort of amazing design reason not to do so. And then nice little map and how to find us. One thing that a lot of Theme Forest themes do when you hover over the map, it scrolls the map and not on the page. So they got this right. It's really great quality. And then again, the theme form. Uh, send your message. The button is nice. One thing that I would maybe change is that, you know, when you type here, the message thing goes away. This form label, it's, or it's a form fill. It goes away and so you can't see, oh, what was I supposed to type there? It's not so straightforward. So it looks beautiful, but you're sacrificing just a little bit of UX by not having a label on top of the form field. Let's go to the blog page. This is always one of my favorite pages on the site because I think it really tells you a lot about the quality. So here we have a two column theme with a sidebar and it looks nice, clean, 
and good. Let's go into the actual page. Okay, so there's, again, not a lot going on above the fold, but there are breadcrumbs, which is a positive. These breadcrumbs help you navigate to other places on the site, and it's good for SEO. So then we have the image. I love this category label. I think it looks very nice and expert. And then here we have the actual article. And again, some tags, share buttons. Let's test those out, see what happens. Looks great. I love that they pre-fill the tweet. Um, the only thing that could be done better here is if you add in the pre-fill your hashtag or your at your handle to at mention someone uh, but the shares look great and then the fact that you can go to next posts and then have this nice about page that's really cool the call outs for other articles pretty good and again comments so let's read more on this about John Howard page I'm interested in the author page okay so this is another templated page it's nice that they did it uh, but you don't really read more about the author. You can't really show a lot about who they are or send them any particular place. That's a small con, but again, this is one of the best themes I've seen in a long time in terms of design. And then I assume these are all of the posts by that author. One thing I really like about this theme is the text width. It's just easy to read. You'll see some website templates or themes they put the blog text all the way across the page. And as we know, that's really, really hard to read. So let's talk about the portfolio. Again, this big page. Uh, but the portfolio, I think, is very pretty. Um, it goes big. One thing I like is that when you click the plus and you view a bigger version, you don't necessarily have to go up to this X to close it. You can click anywhere on the screen. It's kind of a nice little feature. Back to the footer. All right, so about us. So you can't click on this actual page because of the drop down. That's okay. Here we go, our features. Again, the same header. I'm getting a little tired of it, but if you're in love with it, that's cool. I would maybe start the page more like this, but with the bigger about us. I just think it looks cleaner. Um, again, these really nice little call outs, nice, you know, half page design with some bullets, cool slider feature. Again, beautiful. I think this is a great example of something that looks nice. It's already built for you. Benefits, sort of similar. All right, here's maybe some team features. View the team. Let's check out the full page. Oh, that's cool. The like big image and then the big headline and then their uh, social details. Nice testimonials. Again, more, more of the team pages. That's more like not a team page, but a one person page, I would say. Unless if depending on how much you want to display about each person. All right, the services page. Again, really digging these here. I love the client's slider. The pricing is very beautiful. I mean, just straightforward. You know the price, you know the package name, you know what's up, and you choose the plan. One thing I noticed there is that there's no way to shop here. I would recommend if you love this theme and you want to go with this, you're going to have to use a third party provider or do some WooCommerce customizations on this theme. One third party provider I really like is Gumroad if you want to do sales. All right, let's just look at a couple more pages. Support, nice two column bullets. Now, one thing I really like is you can tell that the typography here is really clean. You know, they have a lot of options for when you want to show information, it basically is there for you. You know, they, here's the uh, short codes. This is how you insert something really easily. These look cool, these counters. 
but I don't know how useful they are. They're only specific. Pricing, again, beautiful, nice, bright call to action. Testimonials, maps. Also love this call to action, telling people to do something in a really big, straightforward way. All right, <clears throat> last one, video tutorials. It's cool that uh, ThemeRex is giving you more information about how to start. Oh, and of course, this has search, which is cool. Let's see what happens when you search. Search results, basic three column, that's fine. And then I love in the nav this get started button. I think that's really cool. So, lots of nice options, good typography, nice straightforward. I think this is a nice business theme, startup theme. Looks very startup-y, right? Uh, just like the name Pro Start. So, hope you like this video. If you have any questions about the Pro Start theme and how, whether you would buy it, what it would be good for, or how any parts of it work, just comment on this video. Cool. Thanks. Lauren Proctor coming at you from Bangalore, and I hope you keep watching for more theme reviews.